Music producers, what's good? And welcome back to another one. So this producer, he sent me over his sample pack and I've been following homie for a little while now. Um, I was already following him. I was already just kind of keeping up with what he was doing because I liked, you know, what he was doing. Um, the beats he was making, just kind of the vibe he was putting out there. It was super dope. So he sent me over his sample pack and yeah, man, this is really some like, I don't know what I'm going to turn this into. I might end up turning it into some dark, grimy, boom, bap. I don't know. But anyway, shout out to the homie Cold Brew, man. Cold Brew sent over his new sample pack and he wanted me to check it out. Wanted me to test it out, see what it sounds like, see what I could cook up with it, you know, review it, give my thoughts on the pack. So that's what I'm going to do here today with y'all. And with that sample pack comes a gift for all of you. So all of you that watch this video can use coupon code HEAT, H-E-A-T. T and you get 25% off of your order. If you like what you hear today, you know, head over to the site link below in the description, but let's see what's in the pack. Let's go through this. I feel like this is some jazzy samples, just piano loops and things like that. Chords that can really be chopped up and used. Let's just see what happens, but let's go through some of the samples real quick. So I'm gonna play a couple more just to show you, you know, what the sound is. I hope that you kind of understand it and getting the gist of where he was trying to go with this one right here. Like I said, this is more of like chords, ambient kind of stuff that you can just chop up. Let's go through a couple more. I actually kind of like that one right there. It's called Good Morning. Yo, listen, if you struggle at all with making better beats or if you struggle with mixing your beats, let's say you got great beats, but you just struggle with making it sound good, head over to boombapuniversity.com. I have a few courses over there that will help you with your beat making process as well as your mixing process. Gotta have better beats in order to sell more beats. You gotta have better beats to get more placements, right? Let me help you with that. I got the Cooking That Boom Bat Masterclass, which will walk you through the full beat making process as to how I make my beats, and also have the Mixing and Mastering Your Beats Like a Pro Masterclass, which will show you exactly the full process as to how to mix your beats, and there's a bonus in there as well on how to mix vocals too. So I'm gonna show you all of that at boombabuniversity.com. Head over there, grab up those courses. I promise you, 15 years of proven experience to get you right, all right? Let's get back into the video. So I already have some drums in here. I'm gonna play this drum pattern real quick and try to like match the sample to it and maybe do some chops while I'm going along with it. Yep, y'all yeah, see where I'm going. Shout out to Cold Brew, man. Y'all see where I'm going. Like the sample is giving me Marlo Diggs vibes, man. Shout out to Marlo Diggs, man. But yeah, I definitely like where this is going so far. So I'm gonna extend these drums real quick. Maybe some keys or something like that. See if we can add some type of top line on there. All right, so I did go back, 
got the different part of a different sample out of the pack because the one that I was using, I feel like there was too much going on for me. So I wanted to change it up a little bit. Sometimes it'd be like that. You know what I mean? You hear a dope idea with something and then you just lose it and then something else comes along. So now I did grab a new sample, which is called Suspense out the pack and I pitched it up five semitones. Hey, it's kind of weird. It's actually kind of weird, but it's kind of fly, though. I ain't going to front you. It's kind of fly. All right, let me uh, nudge this over a little bit. That's kind of fire. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to put it on a track, and I'm just going to record the audio to it. I'm not even going to record the MIDI. Maybe I could put it in like guitar rig or something crazy, but I like that so far. So I took that guitar from um, Arcade and put it through guitar rig. There are some other presets that I could really rock with, but I'm gonna just keep it simple. I don't wanna take too much time. So I put a little reverb on it and it came out sounding like this. What did I just find? <laughs> what is this field of sounds, Arcade? What What is this? I can actually record this as well and just turn this down and just keep it as like a constant sound in the background. I really don't even know what type of beat this is. Like, is it a boom bat? I mean, I, I've, obviously it feels like a boom bat beat, but like, huh, who would who would go on this? Like, who would work with this type of beat right here? All right, so I'm gonna put some bass in here. I really don't want to go too crazy with the track. I think I could go get some um some choir, you know, some vocals, put this bass in here. I got some things I want to do. So let me drop the bass in there first, though. All right, I got this sound. I don't know if it's really going to work. I like it. Let's try it out. That's a re that's really how we figure out if it's going to work or not. So many weird tones going on and just, you know what I'm saying? It just feels so, it feels dope, but it feels weird at the same time. But this is just what making music is about. It's just having fun, trying stuff out, seeing what you can do. You know what I mean? Um, I think I like that. If I take that guitar out though, let me try that. So what I did here is that beginning part of the sample, the blown, blown, that didn't work for the actual, like, it just didn't work in there. So I actually moved it here in Arcade, and you know, you can move like the chops around. So I moved the chop to the, the third chord hit, and then I slid it over to where it would be at in the sample, essentially. So now it sounds like this. Okay, so you see me with a different hat. Desk looks a little different. <laughs> I think, well, not that I think. I know I pulled the biggest rookie mistake ever. You stupid. Like of all the producers on YouTube, I'm sure they all go through the same thing, but I definitely pulled the biggest rookie move ever. You sat there and watched me make this whole beat and guess what i didn't do i didn't hit record to record the ending the outro none of that on my camera obs was recording everything i needed except my camera so you didn't really miss a lot but i do hate i have these rookie moments 
So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna just show you what I added and finish it out right here. So, so I basically just added this last little like vocal piece right here. That's pretty much it. I muted the guitar. Uh, I feel like the guitar, I don't know. I just, I don't know if it's really truly fits how it should fit. Um, so I'll play the beat really quick just so you can kind of hear everything together with that vocal in there. Um, and then I'll mute the guitar to kind of go back and forth to see what sounds best. And y'all let me know in the comments, like, is the guitar it? Should it be in there? Should I remove it? What? You know what I mean? There's this note in the bass that I want to move back. I think it's right here. And I want to put it right there. I won't even front. I think that this beat kind of reminds me of some high tech. At first I was like, I don't really know like what this beat is you know what i mean like what style what vibe this is but it kind of reminds me of some high tech shout out to high tech i feel like this is one of those type of beats so yeah y'all outside of me you know just not recording that one piece into the video i think that the beat is pretty much done you know what i mean i can just start formatting it doesn't really need a lot going on i think this is a more chill you know maybe like willie the kid vibe just stuff like that where it's like more cool music you know what i mean it's not where it's like grimy it's sh street it's it's more cool than anything if you like what you heard today please be sure to give the video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already okay and if you are a member on patreon do know that you do get the sounds that were used in every single video all right so don't miss out on the sounds that i used today in this video shout out to cold brew make sure you use coupon code heat h e a t Get that 25% off of the uh, sample pack on his site. I hope I inspire somebody to go create. Keep cooking that boom bap. All right, I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.